Sony revealed its hydrogen-powered semi-truck late last year. The sleeper cab version is called the Nikola 1, while the day cab truck, called the 2, is less expensive. The interior wasn't complete at the reveal, but now Nikola is showing what the sleeper cab of the 1 will look like in a set of renderings, above. We have to say, its interior space provides a futuristic vibe appropriate to a vehicle that represents the evolution of commercial trucking. Starting with the driver interface, the dash looks simple and uncluttered, but dominated by a large, central touchscreen display. In the rendering, the screen displays a map with various points on interest, driver and company information and reviews, and even revenue information. The digital instrument panel provides useful info including the remaining driving range, as well as a visualization of cars that might be driving alongside the truck in the driver's blind spots. The sleeping quarters are particularly interesting, and the space looks like something from a sci-fi movie, but in an exciting, non-apocalyptic way. It features a double bunk layout, lots of storage bins, a TV screen, as well as a tablet next to the bunk. This bedside control unit allows the occupant to control a number of functions, air conditioning, heating, lighting, etc. from the bunk via Wi-Fi. The top bunk is removable, and can be easily switched out for a modular storage system. The renderings also highlight the ambient lighting throughout the cab. Nicola also provided some updates today on Twitter. The One's drivetrain is capable of taking off from a stop on a 30% grade with an 80,000 pound load. The truck will have 6x4 all-wheel drive, and be capable of nearly 680 degree turning. It will be compatible with dual or super single tires. Road testing of the Nikola One will begin next year, and the company is planning a huge party for when the first truck rolls off the test assembly line. Lastly. The company says it will show the redesigned Nikola Zero UTV in the next 60 days.